Hello everyone, welcome to the video on types and treatment of angina pectoris. What is angina pectoris commonly known as chest pain? When heart is not getting enough blood supply or when there is a reduced blood supply is there that gives a sharp pain which is radiated to left shoulder, left neck and left jaw. This is called angina pectoris. Coming to the types, the first one is known as typical angina or stable angina. Majority case of angina pectoris is because of lipid accumulation in coronary blood vessel. Coronary blood vessels supply blood to the heart. When there is a lipid in the blood vessel, it reduces blood supply and that gives angina pectoris. Lipid accumulation occurs over a period of time, hence it is known as stable angina. Most of the people suffer with this kind of angina, hence it is known as typical angina. Now, when the patient is at rest, they will not experience any pain. When the patient is doing some physical activity or when he is in emotional strain, oxygen demand increases and there is a reduced blood supply due to lipid. Hence, it is also known as exertion induced angina. Typical, stable, exertion, all of them are same. What is the best course of treatment? Three classes are used, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers and organic nitrates. Beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, they reduce oxygen demand. When the oxygen demand is reduced, you can treat angina pain. Whereas organic nitrates, they reduce preload and afterload. So all these three classes are widely used. Especially there is a drug called as sorbitrate. It is a brand name. The generic is isosorbate dinitrate. This organic nitrate is placed under the tongue, which increases blood flow, blood supply to the heart and relieves angina sharp pain. Coming to the second type is known as unstable angina. See, when the lipid accumulation is there in the blood vessel, it damages blood vessel and causes rupture. To treat that, platelets will come and surround this lipid and they further reduce blood flow to the heart. This is known as unstable angina. What causes this? Platelets. So what is the best treatment? Antiplatelet agent. See, most of the angina patients are prescribed aspirin of 100 mg dose every night. Before going to bed, they need to take this medicine. Why aspirin is a very good antiplatelet agent? The third type is known as variant angina, vasospastic angina or prince metal angina. Vasospasm means, vaso means blood vessel, spasm means contract, contraction. When this contraction occurs to coronary blood vessels, it reduces blood supply to the heart, again causes angina pectoris. The best agents are organic nitrates and calcium channel blockers. Remember, beta blockers are contraindicated. They should not be used to treat vasospastic angina. So these are all the three major types and the treatment. Thank you. All the best.